So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golf wing and streetwear. And in today's video, I'm sure you've all seen the news, but we are going to be doing a reaction to golf wings new winter 2020 lookbook. I was going to go ahead and do a reaction to the preview like I did with the last season, but unfortunately I can't get the preview to load on the golf website. Like I go to the website and it has winter 2020 listed and I can't pull up the lookbook or the preview uh, through the website. I'm only able to look at the lookbook pictures through golf's Instagram, but if that gets fixed and I'm sure it will, um, I will be posting a reaction to the preview tomorrow. So this is just my reaction to the lookbook, but do keep in mind with this lookbook, we're not seeing every single piece that's coming out. So I will still have a lot of thoughts to share on that preview video. So make sure you look for that tomorrow. But without further ado, guys, I'm really excited to look at this. I'm sure you guys are really excited as well. So let's get straight into it, guys. All right, guys, so we are on Golf Wing's official Instagram looking at the photos of the lookbook. And I'm just gonna go in order from when they posted it to the first picture of the lookbook to the last, kind of the way that we would have to view it on the website. And starting out with the the front cover of the lookbook here and the fit we have here on the front cover of the lookbook is this plaid golf puffer jacket which i'm sure all of you know exactly what i'm talking about but this was a photo that we saw golf tees a couple of days ago on their instagram saying the new season was coming soon it was just this kind of like bottom section here of the photo but what we have here is this plaid puffer jacket which looks really really cool i've always been a fan of golf's puffer jackets whether it be the rose puffer jacket which you might be able to see there in the background which is my personal favorite golf jacket Golf always makes some really, really solid puffer jackets, and this plaid one is also really dope. Um, I love this green colorway. This green colorway is probably going to end up being my favorite one, but I'm still really excited to see if we get some other colorways of this. I'm sure that we will. It would definitely be interesting if this was the only colorway we saw of this jacket. But like I said, this green is probably going to be my personal favorite of the line of puffer jackets that they do with this plaid colorway. Um, with the rest of the fit, we have this kind of Sherpa work vest, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get a closer look at um, in one of the later photos. So I'm going to share my thoughts on that piece a little bit bit later whenever we see that and then on the bottom here it looks like we have some corduroy pants and uh correct me if i'm wrong but it looks like down there on his left leg we have a pocket so this might be some corduroy cargo pants which would also be really cool i've been into uh, a lot of cargo pants here recently it goes uh really well with these puffer jackets like he's got on and with varsity jackets and stuff like that it's a really good look especially if you pair them with the gianos and in this next photo we have the same corduroy pants once again really dope and then we have this stripe long sleeve um i do really like the colors on this long sleeve you all know dark green and light blue are some of my favorite colors of all time and those are just two colors that happen to look really well together so i am really feeling the colorway on this piece we're not sure what design or if any design at all is on this piece and then we have this puffer vest which features the classic i don't know if you can really see it but it features the classic golf blocks logo which i used to have a hoodie that had that logo on it i don't own it anymore but that is a pretty solid golf logo and we see that a lot in this look but but we see a lot of integration of older golf logos coming into these new pieces. And I do think that they do it in a refreshing way. I do think that if you integrate old logos too much, that it can really oversaturate them. But I don't think that's the case uh, with this. So that's always really good to see. And like I said, the Golf Blocks logo is still a really solid logo. Moving on from that, we have this kind of golf biker jacket. Um, and it features the old golf logo on the front and on the next page. We can see it's also featured on the back here. And we kind of get a better look of the jacket on this page. So I think I'm going to share my thoughts of it here. So as you can see, this is actually a leather jacket. I don't believe we've seen uh, any, if um, at all, seen some leather jackets from golf before. I do believe this is the first one. Uh, myself, I've never been a huge fan of leather, but I do got to say that I am really feeling the colorway on this jacket. I also really, really like the style on this jacket as well. I think it's all around a really solid piece, but leather jackets have just never really been something that I've worn a lot personally. I don't like the texture. I don't like the way they feel on my body. So leather is personally not for me unless they're on like shoes or something. But still, I love this style of jacket. I love the colorway and the old golf logo is one of my favorite golf logos. I have a lot of pieces uh, with the old golf logo on it. I actually used to have the old golf necklace. I wore that necklace religiously until I bought the Lafleur necklace. So I am a fan of that logo. I am a fan of the style of jacket. Leather is just personally not for me. And moving on from that, we have the next photo and a comment from Tyler there on the side shout out tyler giving props to the photo uh but featured here we have this new work jacket in this dark green colorway and it looks like the leather patch there on the pocket features the smiley logo which um if you saw my video talking about the uh tri panel chucks that dropped earlier this year you know that i'm a pretty huge fan of the smiley logo that's one of my favorite golf logos i also love this style of jackets as well and um of course you know i've been talking about my love for dark green a lot as well so i am a pretty huge fan of this jacket i'm also really excited to see what other 
colorways we see with this. And under the jacket here, we have a button up that features some birds. I don't know, you know, forgive me. I'm not really, you know, up to date on bird species or whatever like that. So I'm not sure what bird that is, but we have some sort of bird plastered on and all over. It looks to be a button up with golf branding under the design. I think that this is actually a really cool button up. I've said it once before, but I think golf, you know, always does really good button ups. I'm not sure what it is, but I think that the team that they have just does really good designs on button ups, uh, you know, with the designs, colorways and fit. I think they always kind of knock those out of the park. And um, they've once again done another really solid button up here. So really excited to see that. And then we've got some denim jeans on the bottom. I don't know if this is new denim jeans or if they're golf denim jeans at all, but we see some sort of jeans from golf every season for the most part. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're getting some new golf jeans. Moving on from that, we have a new golf sweater and um, it looks like this design is on the front and on the back of this sweater. It kind of has an old Western vibe. The golf design on the front kind of looks like it was, you know, it kind of looks like a lasso and it's kind of got a colorway that reminds me a lot of the old West. And I do got to say, I am a fan of this piece. I love sweaters. I've always loved sweaters. And this colorway does remind me a lot of the old West, but it also kind of gives me like a seventies vintage vibe to it as well. So I think this is once again, a solid piece. Sweaters just like button ups, I think is another thing golf, you know, always historically does really well. And then once again, we have some yellow pants on the bottom. Once again, I don't know if those are golf pants, but I'm sure that they are. Just don't see design on them or anything right now. But I do think that gold color is really unique. Moving on from that, we have some new fleece items from golf. And this is something that I was really excited to see from golf. It's also not something that I was surprised to see because fleece has been huge recently um, in the fashion world, just across the board. So not at all surprised to see these fleece items here. I got to say, I love, you know, always, you know, I love fleece and I got to say, I love the color way of the fleece that they used here. I think the navy blue and the pinks, oranges, it all, you know, those colors, when you see them on paper, you wouldn't think that they mesh well together, but they do mesh really well on this piece. We also got a matching pair of bottoms, both really solid pieces. I say it all the time, but I'm not typically one to wear athletic bottoms. So, you know, I don't personally love any, you know, any kind of sweats or jogger style pants much, but those are still really cool, you know, for what they are, in my opinion. Moving on from that, we have a new golf cardigan. Um, I can't tell if the chain chain that he's wearing is golf or not. I don't think it is. I don't, I just think that's a regular chain that he's wearing, but we have here a new golf cardigan. It features the golf Romeo logo on the chest and we've got pink and black stripes running down the cardigan itself. And uh, once again, really dope piece here, the golf Romeo logo. I know a lot of people don't share this opinion, but the golf Romeo logo is personally one of my favorite golf logos. I love seeing this integrated into any piece it's put on really. So really excited to see them still using that. These type of cardigans aren't personally personally my style, although I do really enjoy them. You know, I do love cardigans. I wear cardigans all the time, but this specific kind of stripe style is never something that I really wore a lot or don't really think I'll be wearing moving forward. However, I do think this is a really dope cardigan. Like I said, I love the Golf Romeo logo and I love cardigans. So I think this is really cool. It's just not my style, but still overall super solid piece. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to like that one. Moving on from that, we have a better picture of some of the items that we saw earlier in the lookbook with a better look at the plaid jacket and that shirt vest that we saw underneath as well as a look at some more fleece pants to match with the fleece vest that we have i gotta say i love these style of vests here you know i'm not sure if you've seen the video but last um season i did really impulsively buy the safari vest and i ended up feeling a lot of buyer's remorse for it i don't think i'm gonna wear that piece a lot it's not personally one of my favorites but i do gotta say that i like this one a lot more i think the colorway is really really sick and once again love fleece my opinion still stands on the plaid jacket really sick piece we just got a better look at it here and moving on to to the final photo of the lookbook, we have some sort of hoodie. Once again, I have no idea if this is a golf hoodie or not, but we have another colorway of the fleece vest. And I gotta say, this is my personal favorite colorway of the fleece vest. Once again, I love, 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 love light blue. And I think it meshes really well with those kind of cream pockets. And I think the dark green pants are a really good touch to that light blue as well. I also wanna give a shout out to whoever shoots golf's lookbook photos. They always pick a good background color that meshes well with all the clothes of the season. And it always embodies the vibe of the season really well. Once again, really cool fleece vest and a really nice kind of army green shade on those pants. So I'm really digging this photo as well. But guys, I'm pretty sure that does it for the lookbook photos of the new season. Um, Like I said, stay tuned tomorrow for my reaction to the preview of this new season. Golf has not put it up yet. Whenever Golf puts that preview up, I will feel myself reacting to all of the pieces on the preview and share my thoughts on that with you as well. And do keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of pieces in the preview that aren't in the lookbook. So if you want to see my thoughts on the whole season, stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on this season. Do you love it? Do you 
hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? As always, if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward. Without ado for this video, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.